Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Lucente. I'm here on behalf of Holistic Body Center, and we're going to talk about my five top supplements that everybody should take. Um, we have a link uh, at uh, on this post to our vitamin store that you can take a look at, but we're going to count down to the five top supplements, and you're going to be surprised at what number one is. So let's start. Number five is magnesium. Magnesium is essential to almost every cell in the body. And unfortunately, we really don't get enough magnesium in our diets. And the magnesium supplements that most people take are poor quality. Um, for example, most supplements that are commercially sold are either magnesium oxide or magnesium chloride. And even though you might be taking a magnesium supplement and thinking that, well, oh, it's not working or I don't feel any difference, um, it may be the type of magnesium that you're taking. Uh, magnesium oxide and magnesium chloride are very poorly absorbed uh, forms of magnesium, so you may not be able to be getting the actual full benefits of your magnesium supplement. Better forms of magnesium are magnesium chelate, magnesium citrate, which is actually used as a laxative. And uh, if you're not looking for a laxative effect, there uh, the best form would be magnesium glycinate and mag magnesium threonate. Now, these are all readily available, and uh, they are typically made by the uh, better and more highly, uh, qu more high quality vitamin companies. Um, with now, again, these have higher absorption rates, and will elicit a better response in your system. Number four is B-complex. So B-complex, the reason I added this to the list is because a lot of the people or most people that I see have what's called dysbiosis. And even if you're not having bowel issues, most people, if you've been on an antibiotic before and you haven't aggressively repopulated your gut, you probably have some form of dysbiosis. Now, dysbiosis, I've done uh, talks on this before, but just to review quickly, dysbiosis is an imbalance of good to bad bacteria in your system. And it typically means overgrowth of bacteria in the, um, in the gut. Now we have good bacteria, good yeast, and we have bad bacteria and bad yeast. And if there's an imbalance of these, usually from uh, antibiotic use and the poor foods that we choose to eat, foods that are highly processed, these can all damage the lining of the intestine and that barrier that between the bloodstream and the uh, gut is compromised, causing what's called leaky gut syndrome. And so many people, because their bowels are not working properly and they don't have the proper flora in their, in their gut, they're not getting enough B, B, B vitamin absorption, specifically B12 folic acid. B12 and folic acid are also very vital for almost every cellular function, uh, especially for detoxification. And the last thing I wanted to say about B12 is that you need to get tested for the MTHFR gene. Now, MTHFR stands for methyl tetrahydrofolate reductase, which is an enzyme that just puts a methyl group onto B12 and folate, which form the active form. Now, some people have a genetic predisposition to not be able to do this, so they have to take the methylated form of B12 and of folate. So that's a very important point because if you don't have those uh, that gene, then you can't get to the active form of those vitamins, so it's essential that you take the methylated version of those vitamins. And again, we have, and many of the other uh, good vitamin companies have, uh, available, the methylated forms of B12 and folate. So now number three on our list is fish oil. Fish oil is vital uh, for brain function. If you have a child with ADHD or you as an adult suffer from ADHD or uh, memory issues, brain fog, if you have uh, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, uh, hypothyroidism, any condition that affects the brain, which are most conditions nowadays, uh, because usually if the gut is affected, the brain is also affected. And so fish oil is a vital nutrient. Think of it as the, the fuel for your brain. Now, there's a big difference between omega-3s and omega-6s. You want to get a fish oil that's rich in omega-3s, 
And then the other thing you want to look at in fish oil is if it's a certified mercury-free brand. As many of you may well know, if you've spoken to me before, there's a big concern about mercury toxicity in many people who eat a lot of sushi and uh, people who eat uh, tuna in general, even if it's out of a can. So these big fish are uh, very high in mercury. Uh, I myself, uh, when I was younger, had a mercury issue from eating sushi and uh, had to be chelated and treated for that for mercury poisoning. So it's a serious thing, but you need to feed your brain. So um, one source of omega-3s is flax or flaxseed oil. I prefer, uh, since most people don't eat enough fish or um, and fish can be expensive, especially a good high quality, not farm raised fish, um, you know, so that's difficult. So I recommend a good mercury free brand fish oil that's rich in omega threes and um, is well sourced from, from a fish source. Uh, so that's number three. Number two on, on my list of top five supplements you should take. Number two is probiotics. Um, as I mentioned just a few minutes ago, almost everybody that I see, if we look for it, has some form of dysbiosis or leaky gut. And you're, you're, it's the, all, the, all the literature that's coming out, there's a lot of studies coming out of Cleveland Clinic uh, with Dr. Mark Hyman, who's the uh, leader of the functional medicine uh, group over there. And many of the traditional specialists are now giving uh, a lot of validity to the fact that most of your health relies on good gut health. And if your gut is not healthy, then your body cannot be healthy. Um, it leads to depression, it leads to anxiety, it leads to cardiovascular disease, it, leads, it can lead to autoimmune disease. All these chronic diseases that we're seeing are in somehow related to an unhealthy gut flora. So let's just dig in and talk a little bit about probiotics. Probiotics, again, they need to be a good source of probiotic. The probiotic that you're going to get in CVS or Costco typically is not a good probiotic, something that sits on the shelf. Remember, probiotics are supposed to be live cultures of good bacteria. So there are a lot of good brands out there of probiotics, and um, we carry many in our store. Uh, online, and there are many good health food stores that carry refrigerated probiotics, and they need to be also varied in species. They should have billions of species, billion counts, uh, oh, 10 billion and above at least, and they should vary their species. Now, there is no one specific probiotic that's better uh, than any other. And the reason I say that is because everybody's microbiome is a little bit different and everybody may be lacking in different bacteria. And unfortunately right now it's, un, it's unrealistic and impossible to try to figure out which specific bacteria you're missing out of the trillions of bacteria that are in your body. So the best strategy for that is to vary brands. As long as you're taking a good brand, you should vary the brand of probiotic. Garden of Life is a good one. Um, I'll be trying and reviewing a new probiotic that's coming soon be, uh, called Symbiotic 365, which is developed by a doctor, which also contains B vitamins and chicory root, which is a prebiotic that helps kind of feed that garden that's growing in your bowels. So again, if, if you're having any type of health issue or you want to boost your immune system, it's very important, I think, that everybody should be on a daily probiotic. And if you're on uh, an antibiotic, you need to double up on your probiotic and then add something called Saccharomyces boulardii, which is a, a good healthy yeast that promotes uh, uh, growth of good bacteria and uh, helps fight off bad yeast overgrowth in the gut. And number one, which you've all been patiently waiting for, is vitamin D3. Uh, I've probably done hundreds of blood tests in the last year or so, and out of those, let's say, 100 blood tests, uh, I would say that 98 people were deficient in vitamin D, um, and the two that weren't deficient were taking supplementation. So 
Vitamin D, as many of you know, comes from the sun and sun exposure. So even in the summertime, if you work indoors and you're not, um, if you're clothed and you're, most of your body is covered, which most of us are hopefully when you're at work, unless you're a lifeguard, um, that you know, you're not even in the summertime getting adequate amounts of vitamin D. And uh, vitamin D is essential for immune function. It's essential for um, fighting off cancer. It's essential for cardiovascular health. The more and more research that's being done on vitamin D is showing that it's one of the essential vitamins for, for health and vitality. And again, most people are deficient. Um, you should get your labs tested. You need to get a 125-hydroxyvitamin one, uh, one D and a 25-hydroxyvitamin D level. And when you replace vitamin D, again, it needs to be from a good source. Uh, the minimum that I start people out with is 5,000 IUs. And if you look at your multivitamin or uh, a lot of over-the-counter vitamin D supplements, they either have 1,000 or 2,000, which never gets you to the level that you need to achieve, which is 80 to 100 on the 25-hydroxy test. And even though the normal is considered 30 to 100, the optimal level that all the research is showing is beneficial to your health is a level between 80 and 100. So in order to achieve that level, most people need at least 5,000 IUs daily of vitamin D3. So again, if you like this, give our page a like, uh, follow our page. Um, there's a link to our vitamin store where you can get high quality medical grade vitamins that are not available in stores. Um, we also have some beauty products in there that are from really good companies, reputable companies um, that sell to physicians and healthcare practitioners. So if you are interested in seeing us, you could see our Facebook page and book an appointment through there. We do video conferencing uh, cons consults. So uh, it's a private chat room through a service called Zoom. So you can save time, not wait in a doctor's office, but you're also welcome to come visit us in Colts Neck, New Jersey. Again, give our page a like, come see us real soon, talk to us on the internet, get your health back to where it needs to be. We will work with your doctors. We, can, we serve as um, advisors and uh, champions of your health and getting you back to feeling the way you really should be feeling. And again, I'm Dr. Richard Lucente. My partner is Dr. Robert Dugo. Um, we will be bringing on some really new, exciting staff, um, featuring our, especially a clinical nutritionists that'll be joining our staff and a uh, therapist that works with children uh, and adults dealing with autism and other um, childhood illnesses such as ADHD. So we're gonna have a, a complete uh, support system here to get you back on track. Uh, again, have a, a happy and blessed Saturday, and we'll see you again real soon.